In this video, I'm going to walk you through the Alex problem called calculating the solubility of an ionic compound when a common ion is present. In this problem, you're going to be asked to do two calculations. First, you're just going to be asked to calculate the solubility of a given ionic compound in pure water. And then after that, you'll be asked to calculate the solubility of that same compound in a solution that has a common ion. In this particular problem, my solution is a 0 0.0140 molar NaOH solution. The common ion is the hydroxide ion. So step one, we're just going to solve the solubility in pure water. To do this, we're going to use an ice table. We want, a, want to write a balanced equation for the dissociation of our ionic compound, nickel hydroxide. This is dissociating to form the nickel 2 plus ion, which is aqueous, and the 2 OH minus ions, which are also aqueous. You got to be really careful to get your stoichiometry correct with these. The initial amount of the nickel hydroxide, we don't know what that is. Initially, we have zero nickel and zero hydroxide. Uh, minus x, plus x, and plus 2x. Again, be super careful with your stoichiometry. The minus x, so this number right here, this is what represents the solubility, how much of the substance dissolves. So at equilibrium, when this is done, we still don't know how much nickel hydroxide we have because we don't know how much we started with. But as you know, it doesn't matter because it doesn't show up in the ice table. Um, now we just need to solve for x. So to do that, we're going to use an equilibrium expression KSP. We need to look up the KSP values. It tells you to use um, the Alex data tab, that's this right here, to find the KSP value. I already looked it up for nickel hydroxide. It is 5.48 times 10 to the minus 16. And it's super important that you use Alex's uh, values for KSP. Don't use them from a textbook or something because there is occasionally slight differences in the KSP values from one resource to another. So this is the concentration of the nickel, which is X, and the concentration of the hydroxide, which is 2X, and the concentration of the hydroxide gets squared. So X times 2X squared, that works out to be 4X cubed, and we just need to use our calculators to solve for X, 5.48 times 10 to the negative 16, and then divide that by 4, and then take the cube root of that. This is 5.155 times 10 to the negative 6. Now you got to be really careful. Um, this right here is not your solubility. This is not the number that we're going to plug into this box. In the ice table, the value of x is in units of molarity or moles per liter specifically because remember x is representing an IOH2 solid. This is moles of nickel hydroxide per that's a two, not an S, per liter. And the problem wants us to convert this or express this in units of grams per liter. So we're going to need to take this number right here, and we need to do a mole to gram conversion using the molecular weight. So I'm going to do that up here. If we have 5.155 times 10 to the negative 6 moles, and just to save space, I'm not going to write the formula, but this is moles of NiOH2. We want to multiply this by a conversion factor that lets us cancel out the moles and convert into grams. And again, this is moles of NiOH2. The molecular weight is 92.708 grams per mole. That is really squeezed in there. 708 grams per mole. 92.708, which gives us 4.779 times 10 to the negative 4 grams per liter. Those mole units cancel out. That is the solubility in pure water. To two significant figures, that's going to be 4.8 times 10 to the negative 4. Over here, it kind of looks like a 9. So that's part one of the problem. For part two, we're going to basically repeat this calculation, but assuming that we have a common ion present. So what I'm going to do is just sort of leave, leave my work on here and just erase and replace. We are starting with 0 0.014 molar NaOH, which is our source of OH minus. 0 0.014. This is still minus x plus x plus 2x. Down here on the bottom, we now have 0 0.0140 
plus 2x, but we assume that x is really small, so that's just going to be 0 0.0140. When we come down here to set up our equilibrium expression, we have the same Ksp value. The nickel is still being expressed with x, but instead of saying 2x for the hydroxide concentration, we are now using the value 0.01. Four, zero. And that does still need to be squared. So now down here, that's going to change this number. We're gonna, when we solve for x now, it is not going to be the same number. We're going to go 5.48 times 10 to the negative 16. And we are going to divide that by 0 0.014 squared. You can be really careful that you put these into your calculator correctly. And that's going to give us an x value of 2.7 nine, six, times 10 to the negative 12. That is still the same units, moles per liter, and we need it to be in grams per liter. So we need to do the same type of conversion up here, converting from moles into grams. This molecular weight hasn't changed, so I just need to erase the starting number of moles, 2.796 times 10 to the negative 12, and then that's also gonna change my answer times 92.708 is 2.592 times 10 to the negative 10. To two significant figures, 2.6 times 10 to the negative 10.